Britain was was born in July of 2011. Um, it appeared to be a, a typical birth. Um, came out, started started hitting the the normal uh, childhood or or, or infant uh, milestones at, at the three and six month mark. Um, when she reached the the age of six, she was six months. She was sitting up, um, but she never really progressed past the sitting. She stuck got stuck in that phase for a while. Um, we my wife and I became concerned, and uh, around the time of her first birthday. Um, we called in, you know, we went to see some specialists and we got our brain involved in early intervention, which in the state of New Jersey is a, is a pr program where she was receiving speech therapy, uh, occupational therapy and physical therapy. Um, all, all the same time we were taking her to, to various specialists, trying to get a diagnosis it took over, over a year. Um, it, during that period of, of, from one to two years old, she was at a, a diagnosis of being globally delayed. Um, and it wasn't until uh, a little bit past her second birthday that we went to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, one of their outpost centers, um, and we received a, a diagnosis of Rett syndrome through a, through a genetic test. So obviously getting a diagnosis like that, that, that your two-year-old daughter uh, has a severe neurological disorder um, and is going to experience a, a, you know, a lifetime of uncertainty and, and necessary care is, is devastating. Um, we like to say there's no good, there's no good way to get that diagnosis. But when we did get ours, my wife was eight months pregnant with our son. Um, we just moved into a new house and the holiday seasons were coming. So, you know, devastating on multiple effects. Um, we definitely hunkered down. Uh, we told just our immediate family, it took us a while to, to come to grips with it. Um, my wife and I grieved slash processed at our own pace. Um, probably because she was also pregnant and dealing with, with those emotions as well. Um, but come, so what, we got diagnosed in October of 2013. It took us until February of 2014 that we had gone through that. Both of us had been through that process and had been, were able to actually uh, announce to our friends um, in our support system that, that Britain had been diagnosed with Rett syndrome. Um, and from that day on, we've been come, we, you know, we become advocates for Rett syndrome awareness and, and research funding. Thank you.